I feel better when I write, just like I feel better when I exercise. I feel better when I brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the fact that I continually put up resistance to doing all those things, there's a constant yeah. resistance. So does this, is that just indicative of how like my picker is just completely screwed up? And like, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, I think I, not, not individually you. I, just, I mean, I think that's, that's one of the things that I, in various ways, I've had conversations with people. There's this wisdom voice that we have inside of us. And once we can discover that, you know, the next thing I think we discover is, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm in constant resistance to myself. What's that you know? about though? What What's the driver of that? I mean, in all of your work with others and yourself, I mean, I, what fear is involved here? What am I afraid of? You know, because it, it, things do, you know, it's one of the things I don't know that I knew it as much, you know, when I started the, the embracing fear book, but spending a year and a half with that subject, I got, came, I came away with a lot more awareness of, of our relationship to fear. And I think that's one of them that, that basically it, you can kind of track almost everything down to some fear and it may not be, and it may not be a, a realistic fear. It can't, it might be, but it, a lot of these fears are just, just based on, I mean, sometimes for me, there's superstition kind of stuff. Some of his old family learning or, or whatever. But when you said fear just now, because mm -hmm. this morning um, in my schedule, before we had this, I uh, was going to do my uh, pages uh, for this writing project I'm working mm -hmm. on right now on the way towards uh, sitting down and doing my pages. I was literally just like uh, reaching for any little odd job around the house or distraction <laughs> uh, or th thing to uh, absorb myself in that was not sitting down and doing my pages and yeah. I can I can see now when pulling back that I had this irrational fear of and I think I think it's the fear of whatever, like being in the writing and just not being any good at it or uh, it's it's a fear of failure, I guess. What I think of, I, I think of it as, as kind of a, a really productive writer's block because I, I tend to get a lot of things done that need to get done because I'm avoiding something I really should be doing. It's like, it's, a, it's I don't, tell you know, sometimes now I'm a lazy guy. I can just lay down and say, take an extra nap or something like that. But, but, you know, no, I mean, I went in, I went in and did, I mean, I, I'm no plumber, but I went in and worked on the, on the plumbing under my, my wife's bathroom sink the other day, as opposed, as opposed to sit down and, and, and work on some writing project. It's like, it's well, I guess that's see the magnitude of the fear is in direct proportion <laughs> to, you know, like how, how uh, grisly is the job you're doing. How, how far doing will I go? That's yeah. right. <laughs> but I think the fear of failure is is the fear of success and then losing it. And and I've been saying that for years. And, and, and you know, and it comes off pretty good as a good sound bite. We've got to be able to believe in ourselves at a yeah. level that we're not used to. We have to imagine that uh, you know, our hand's not going to be burnt on the stove, you know, like there yeah. has to be uh yeah. um if we can't even project a possibility, we could attain the thing that we're reaching for, then it's going to make it almost impossible for us to just take. Well, yeah. And one, of the, and one of the ways that I've experienced that is, is, um, is kind of a, a strange settling in a way. It's, it's like, you know, and I'm thinking about this in terms of, of some, my, my career goals with my, my writing profession. It's like, it's, I, you know, I've had success. I've, you know, I've written a lot of things and I've, I've had a lot of things read to publish and read for other people and stuff like that, but never, never, you know, I never have anywhere come close to the, to the success I would really had, had set out to, to have and, and when, you know, and still working toward, I'm not done yet. My efforts and energy going towards that, I think that they have lessened over the, over the years. To the extent you've had a daily practice or you've been able mm -hmm. to put one together, I'm in the process mm -hmm. of trying to get one together, but you've been able, you've had, had some success at the daily practice, but it's because, right. Right. You, of your pro previous success, you have kind of like a uh, roadmap, you know what I mean? Like this right, works. Right. If I if I if I stick to this, if I'm consistent with this, then mm -hmm. there's there's a result. And I've seen <laughs> I've seen the right. result. You know what I mean? Right. You've been a and, and right. so this is something that can be replicated. Is that like yes. a, is there yeah. like is that help contributing to the feedback loop of kind of like, you know, you, you put in the work day in, day out yeah. because, you yeah. know, that it's all adding up to something. Why do we resist our own wisdom so vehemently <laughs> you know it's like it's not just a little resistance or you know and maybe and maybe maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong about it being more common than i think and i'm just outing myself now but but it's it's like that's okay it's it's like but it's, well does it, it go back amazing. to fear and faith fear and faith right when we're operating on right? faith we just do the shit without needing to see 
where it's all going to lead because we have a trust in the process that's going to get us there. And uh, right. I think I'm operating just on me personally. I'm more on the fear side. You know, if mm-hmm. I'm looking at the last few weeks, I'll just look at the last few weeks more on the mm-hmm. fear side than the faith side. And when you're op- on, on when you're operating on fear rather than faith, um, your steps forward are going to be very tentative and you're not going to be completely committed. And the thing is going to fall apart uh, oftentimes when you're you know, trying to build it. When you say faith, what I think of is 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 not like a, a faith, like, a, you know, a faith in you know, God in the sky or something like that, but, no. but basically a willingness, a willingness to move forward with, with a full understanding that I do not know the outcome. I'm going to want this outcome, but I'm okay if I make these efforts and it, it doesn't work out. That's exactly so, what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for uh, okay. clarifying okay. that. Yeah. You can be self-deprecating at times, but I do get the sense that you've got a daily practice and you've got kind of like a, you've got a regimen that you bring to your work and uh, your art and yeah, just yeah. your, you know, being with the animals and being with Dee Dee and, mm-hmm. and, you know, and it's like, that's something you put together over years. And I aspire to something like that. I'm, I'm in the process mm-hmm. of working on it mm-hmm. myself and I'm, and the work is never finished, but um, it's a, it's a great challenge. I mean, it's, it's been a great challenge yeah. for me so far.